CBS 4 News health alert and the local transmission of the Zika virus here in Florida. There was another confirmed case today, the 43rd local transmission in Palm Beach County. After making that announcement, the governor called out the Centers for Disease Control, saying that they have yet to send him the 5,000 Zika antibody tests that he asked for last week. The governor's office says less than 1,200 have been sent so far. This is local businesses meet with local health officials to discuss more about how to handle the local cases. CBS 4's Hank Tester is live in Wynwood with more now. Hank. Well, how and when the state reports Zika cases under heavy duty fire today here in Wynwood. And also, Planned Parenthood plans to go door to door. That's the very latest on Zika. Let's take a look. Hard at it at Miami Beach. Mosquito eradication. Hand to hand combat with a mosquito billed as the cockroach of mosquitoes. And while county workers are on the job, we learn. There's a new one in Palm Beach, yes, yes. So at best count, there are now 43 cases of locally transmitted Zika in the state. One each, Pinellas, Palm Beach counties, Miami Beach, the rest, Wynwood. We're here today to talk about progress. Um, we actually have, have good news to report. Wynwood, where business owners got some good news after what appeared to be bad when Tuesday, four new locally transmitted cases attached to Wynwood were announced by the governor's office. The news yesterday was a little bit um, confusing, to say the least, and, and we really want to clarify, you do not have four new cases of Zika virus in this community. These folks were diagnosed in July, and those four new cases were in the pipeline. This group, which has seen business take a hit due to the Zika scare, not happy with the state's reporting of the Zika numbers. I think unhappy would be uh, an understatement. Um, I, was in, I was furious. And unhappy even with the shrinking Zika zone map, saying victims can be infected anywhere in the state, not just Wynwood. Time is of the essence. And the issue of Zika and pregnancy? Representative Frederica Wilson fronts an announcement from Planned Parenthood. Over the next six weeks, door-to-door -door campaign educating our community about Zika and the sexual transmission and about how to prevent and minimize that exposure. Well, business owners here in Wynwood certainly hoping that business continues to improve here this coming weekend. I'm Hank Tester, CBS 4 News. Back to you. Hank, thank you. Stay with CBS 4 News and CBSMiami.com for continuing coverage of the fight against Zika. For tips to protect you and your family, just head to the Zika section of our website.